Okay, this is the new Infinity booth. Bounce card on top. Smooth stand, 1k. So here you can see we're set up for the Power Rangers job. Set up for photos, select the Power Ranger you want to be. We'll click this button first. Type in your name. Actually, we'll have it in capitals. P A U L. Done. Line myself up roughly with the face. And that should be job done. There I am. If you want to do morphing, you can. It's a similar sort of thing, just align your face roughly with the mask. That'll process that. Now you'll see me switching between Billy Blue and myself. Beautiful. <laughs> demonstrate the running man pose for Dubai where we just going to take three shots one running left one running right one pausing with a heart attack and we'll show the animation afterwards running pose one running pose two exhausted pose I'll try and zoom in on that a bit man. there you go running up the sand dune and then collapsing so now we're around the back of the photo station, you can see the video I've just taken. And then after five seconds, it will kick into advert mode. So that now starts loading previous pictures, these are the Power Rangers jobs coming up. Between each picture, there will be an advert of your choice. Followed by another picture, followed by an advert of your choice. And so if we go for our last video, which is this one, we select it. Once you've done selecting, you can then choose Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, email, text message, whatever you like. So if I text it to myself, it's just very quickly. Now that gets sent to the mobile phone from a microsite. The links on the microsite already have Facebook and Twitter tabs already on there. So if people share to Facebook or tweet them to Twitter, you'll see that when we send you the analytics afterwards, we can track the spread, which is quite useful. Okay, so this quick video is a close-up of the screen just showing you what we do when doing green screen photographs. So, we select photo, we pick the photo we want, this one will be on the back of his motorbike, get roughly in position, take the picture. Look scared. Ah, going fast. If I like that, accept, move on to the next picture. This one's a bit trickier, it's a headshot, so you have to get in exactly the right position, but it's not too difficult, you just go about there. Let's see if we've got it right. Pretty good. If we want to edit, we can quickly edit on the spot. Just move things around. Should be about there. Looks about right. Okay. Job done. Accept it. We've got a bit of an action shot here. So there's my background. Take photo. I want to be about there, just peeking around the back. There's my gun, perfect. We've also got filters down here. I can add secret formula, which darkens it down, make the whole thing into a cartoon or a painting, um, make a nice black and white. That one looks quite good, so we'll accept that. Job done. Around the back here on the sharing screen, there's the pictures we've just taken. Oh, it's gone into our book mode. Okay, so we've got, there's me on the motorbike. Me as Jason Bourne. Me in black and white. Again, select it, done selecting. Email it to myself, Facebook it, tweet it, whatever you like. There's your Facebook login. Here we come. One useful feature when we're scrolling through these libraries, if someone's taken three pictures of themselves like I just did, for example, they want that one. They might also want that one. They might not want that one. They might want that one. There's three pictures selected there. We can select the whole lot. In one go, we can tweet all three, Facebook them, Instagram them, send them to email or text message. Okay, morphing. Um, we can morph from anything to anything. So a person can become a racing car or a zombie or they can become their friend. You can have two people on there. So we'll do some simple ones. These are a bit scary for kids, but they're mainly set up for Halloween. So ignore the content. So here's a Halloween pumpkin. I get myself roughly in line with the head, about there. That's it. 
that will take my beautiful face, oh dear, and turn it into a pumpkin, which I think is far more attractive personally. <laughs> oh dear. Right, I love taking pictures of myself. Not. So, let's do another morph. This one's from something that isn't real, like a zombie. So again, we're getting into position about here. Except there, very close up this one. Ah, scary face. Doesn't need to be too accurate, just gives you an idea. Oh God, I don't know which is scarier, the zombie or me. <laughs> so there's the morph, so you can see slowly, I'll become that zombie. We can make it more accurate by adjusting the eyes and things, obviously. And another one. This one's more for the girls, but I'll have a go anyway. So here's a nice picture of me. So we just accept, line up roughly. So you can see how quickly it all processes. There's me becoming a witchy thing. Wonderful way to frighten the children. Okay, so now we're around the back, you can get a better look at the morphs from here. The interesting thing is they do have a soundtrack on. We can change it for each one, but at the moment they're all set to the same. So let's go into close-up mode. So there's me. And you'll hear the soundtrack. 